live in DC, so you know these jokes come from a place of love. Let's start things off in the district at the Washington National Opera, where an online auction of 150 items owned by the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and donated to the opera shattered expectations and raised over $800 thousand dollars. Adam Longo previously featured the items for a mic up a couple weeks ago. A lot of these pieces are pieces that are inscribed to uh, Justice Ginsburg. All of these proceeds will go to the Washington National Opera, which was her great passion. This is something that probably appeared at the Kennedy Center. Yes, this was the mink coat that she would wear when she would attend the opera, and you will see her name. Look at that. Is in the, discreetly put in the pocket. Look at Justice Ginsburg out here looking like Silky Johnson. She is still giving back from the great beyond. Her ghost is a better person than me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. A pre-sale estimate was that the auction could raise up to $80,000. It raised 10 times that. Never underestimate the notorious RBG. Defying odds was her thing. It's her pleasure. They price those items like they belong to Clarence Thomas. Let's stay in the DC area for this next story, where a Maryland-based tow truck driver named Bebo Abrish has amassed a huge following on social media for his videos warning drivers about the methods thieves use to steal rims, tires, airbags, and yes, even vehicle doors. With the actual thieves taking the rims off the car, his videos have been getting traction on TikTok and Twitter. Originally, it was like one or two, and then it became so many. It was like over and over, another after another, and I was like, something's not right. This isn't normal. So, yep, the Northeast today. One lady got hit. Bebo Abrish has been documenting a trend that is causing havoc across the region, the theft of rims. It's happening everywhere from Hagerstown to Woodbridge. But they're not stopping there. Welcome to the Northeast. Yo, he took this man's doors and his tires. What you doing with a door, man? What, what, what you doing with a door? What, he man needs a shield? They turned this car into a whole golf cart. Salute to Bebo Average for being the tow truck driver with a heart of gold, because tow truck driver is usually a heart of ruin your day type of profession. Most tow truck drivers are fully prepared for confrontation. They want that wildfire smoke at all times. They ruin days for a living but not Bebo. Bebo's helping you keep your rims and apparently your doors so you won't have to call him for help. He knows this topic better than anybody. Let's take a trip to Marshall, Texas for this next story. Students graduating from Wiley College, a historically black school, were told at their commencement ceremony that their tuition balances were all paid for by an anonymous donor. You are debt free. You do not owe the college a penny. If you have a balance, you had a balance. You no longer have a balance. See, that's the problem with kids today. If that would have happened in my graduation, it would have been the biggest swag surf you ever seen. Y'all don't know how to appreciate nothing. And where was this anonymous donor when I was in college? I could have used that gift. All jealousy aside, I do want to congratulate these students. It is a blessing to start your professional career debt free this donor gave these kids a head start in their postgraduate lives, but I wonder who this anonymous donor could possibly be. Oprah? She's the usual person that we think of. It's probably not Jeff Bezos since he's outliving his Lex Luthor midlife crisis. Maybe his ex, Mackenzie Scott? Huh? Tyler Perry? Nah, that donation would have been called Tyler Perry Presents Medea Paid Your Tuition. Donald Trump also would have put his name on it, too, and forced the kids to pose for a Blacks for Trump picture with him to get the money. One thing's for sure. We know it's not Dan Snyder. Uh, we, we do know that for a fact. This last story is also from Texas, but it's not quite as uplifting as the last one. The Port Arthur Police Department is looking for a man named Marcus Hubbard, who was allegedly seen on camera taking a lawnmower from a neighbor, then cutting their front and backyard before leaving with the mower. Take a look at this. Uh, this is some surveillance video that we have from Port Arthur, uh, the police department in Texas. You can see a man dragging a lawnmower into view before gassing it up and taking it for a spin. He then mowed the homeowner's front and backyards before police arrived. He allegedly tried to make a run for it with the lawnmower, but then he abandoned it and he fled on foot. The authorities are asking the public for information. There he is what mowing the law. The, the police are looking for him. That has to be the most neighborly thief in the world. He actually did a good job 
on the lawn. Look at that. They got lines and everything. I don't do it that good. He should knock on their door and say that'll be $30. If it were me, I wouldn't even press charges. Marcus might have gotten a regular gig since he did such an amazing job. Like, bro, just ask me next time. I do wonder if he did this because he was tired of looking at his neighbor's uncut grass. Because if that's the case, then I definitely get it. He did that for everybody's property value. Don't act like you haven't been tempted to go clean up somebody's garbage. You know who you are. Now, there's a landscaping fugitive on the loose in Texas. He's unarmed and courteous. Be very careful. He might make your yard look gorgeous. My favorite story, it should probably choose, I should probably be the college tuition story, but I'm going with the lawnmower thief in the hopes that he comes to D.C. and cuts my grass so I won't have to. I got a couple neighbors I could point you to as well.